Battle of the Super Wagons, 2023 BMW M3 Touring vs Audi RS4 Avant. We feel that station wagons are the coolest form factor on a vehicle. It is practical, spacious, looks damn good, and if needed, can even pack enough punch to shame sports cars and even some supercars. But the thing here is we tend to be blinded by the craze hovering around crossovers and SUVs currently that we seldom see these wonder machines take flight. As compared to Europe, we get a handful of station wagons that includes the humble likes of the Subaru Outback to the plush likes of the Mercedes-Benz E-Class All-Terrain. And if you look at the performance-packed wagons, the options are very limited within the Porsche Panamera Cross and the wicked Audi RS6 Avant. Now, BMW has hurt us by dropping a bomb with the 2023 BMW M3 Touring. It is everything that we wanted from a performance wagon, but we won't get it. So, while basking in the pain, we thought of being a bit more hurtful by comparing it to another forbidden fruit, the Audi RS4 Avant. These are two performance vehicles that make us drool all day long, and sadly someone in Germany decided to play the bad Santa. BMW M3 Touring and Audi RS4 Avant are two of the most desirable station wagons out there that can put performance, fun, and practicality into one drop-dead gorgeous package. Both these super wagons have six cylinder packed in them, but at different angles, literally. The 2023 BMW M3 Touring packs a twin-turbocharged 3.0-liter inline-6 that churns out 503 horsepower and 479 lb-ft of torque. This is the same setup as seen in the M3 competition. The M3 wagon is offered with AWD only and power is sent to all four wheels via an 8-speed M Steptronic automatic gearbox. The M3 Touring does 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds and has a limited top speed of 155 miles per hour. Opting for the M driver's package can bump it to 174 miles per hour. The Audi RS4 Avant is a bit mellowed down when it comes to performance. It packs a twin turbocharged 2.9 liter V6 motor that churns out 450 horsepower and 442 lbft of torque. Audi's legendary Quattro AWD system sends power via an 8-speed automatic. This Audi takes 4.1 seconds, 3.9 seconds with the competition plus pack, to do 0 to 62 miles per hour and has an electronically limited stop speed of 155 miles per hour. If you opt for the competition plus pack, the top speed gets bumped to 180 miles per hour. So, performance-wise, these two are tight. Both these German hot wagons have gotten a lot of work done under the skin to put a wide grin on your face, be it on the road or racetrack. BMW has stiffened up the chassis, provided with enduring new suspension tweaks, and put its clever AWD system to adaptive use to even make this bad boy driftworthy. An almost 50 colon 50 body weight distribution gives an impressive agility too. And all of these gets dialed up when opting for the M driver's package. The Audi RS4 Avant also portrays a similar dynamic layout. And just like the Bimmer, the Audi also relies notably on aerodynamic efficiency which is evident from the sharp front and rear fascia designs. The newly introduced competition plus pack makes things a lot more aggressive. It helps the RS4 Avant lose about 16 pounds, recalibrates the steering wheel for a more precise feel, and adds a sporty rear differential to elevate its handling potential. The best aspect of both these super wagons is the fact that performance, comfort, and practicality are married beautifully. In the standard form, both these wagons pack a heightened degree of luxury features but the Bimmer takes it a bit too aggressive with carbon fiber sport seats when opting in for the M driver's package. Audi stays a bit cozier at all times. But we incline the cleaner and more screen-oriented layout of the BMW M3 Touring. The RS4 Avance looks a bit outdated in front of that. As for the technology features, BMW has a slight edge over the Audi. In terms of practicality too, the Bimmer has a more flexible angle with a split tailgate. With both rows up, BMW has marginally better cargo space at 17.8 CUFT but with the rear bench seat down, the Audi has marginally better space at 53.3 CUFT. Both these stations' wagons look drop-dead gorgeous and even have the aura to put supercars to shame. The Audi has a sharper design language with a lot of cuts and creases. And it goes on well with Audi's design philosophy. BMW has a more muscular vibe with the 2023 cubic meters touring. While the beaver face is still there, it looks good with the wagon form factor. 
BMW manages to put forth a lot more drama than the Audi, the contrasting roof and wheels are a major highlight of its visual aura. 2023 BMW M3 Touring and Audi RS4 Avant Front Third Quarter Aerial View via BMW, Audi. In this case, we are the ones that lose, because these are two wickedly fast yet practical station wagons that are not coming to the US. They are neck on neck in all aspects, and the only dividing factor would be their looks, which we will let you be the judge of. But if you are someone residing in the lucky parts of the world where these bad boys are available, do give these super wagons a test run. We bet you won't regret it.